most wonder why a child would need a liver transplant as the common causes of liver transplant in adults are alcoholic liver disease fatty liver disease and liver tumors children are not miniature adults the need and timing for liver transplantation is decided very differently as compared to adults hi i'm dr neela mohan head of pediatric hepatology from medantas liver team and welcome to the liver show today i have with me dr soin who's going to address on pediatric liver transplantation dr soin why is the expertise in pediatric liver transplantation so rare and special dr neela mohan very nice to be with you on the liver show my pleasure to have you here now pediatric liver transplantation is a completely different specialty just like you said children are not miniature adults indeed there are so many unique challenges in pediatric liver transplantation and that is why the expertise for it is quite rare if you take 10 centers that do adult liver transplantation perhaps only one of them will do pediatric liver transplantation and why is that so there are challenges at all levels at all stages of pediatric liver transplantation now while selecting children for transplantation we commonly find that they are malnourished and we have to build them up nutritionally so that they can withstand the major surgery now that is the first challenge second is they are very small often smaller than their actual normal size because they have this chronic disease so you will have 3 4 5 5 kilo children and obviously the amount of liver you need for them is very small so that is another challenge for the surgeons we have to take out a very small portion of the adult liver now the usual donors are mother or father so we need to take out 1/6 or 1/8 of that liver and when you take out a small portion of the liver then obviously the blood vessels supplying that portion of the liver the bile duct draining that portion of the liver are very small so that means that you need microscopic surgery very fine meticulous surgery needs to be done on these small babies among about 4300 liver transplants that we have done over the last 25 years only 500 have been in children but that in itself is a large experience Medanta we believe in having one is to one nursing care for these children both in ICU and in ward to provide the results and we offer more than 97% success rate before discharge let me talk about the pre transplant care we need to address vaccination issues nutrition issues We know that liver is an organ which supplies bile which is required for the digestion of food. So these children are often malnourished and we should not delay the transplant too much because it has an impact on the physical and the mental growth of a baby. Having talked about the pre-transplant care and the challenges that we face in transplantation Let me now address with Dr. Soin what are the good thing about the outcome of pediatric liver transplant because good centers now are able to give 95% one year survival rate and close to 90% 10 year survival rate Dr. Soin would you agree how many children we have who are more than 10 years post transplantation Neelam if i remember correctly we have more than 150 children who are over 10 years after transplant and nearly 100 of them are now over 15 years after transplantation and i think they are now doctors lawyers engineers entrepreneurs and any other profession that they wanted to do and more than a dozen of our children are now married and have their own children so every child with a liver disease definitely stands a chance money should not be an issue because nowadays many ngos also partner with us and with the lovely results that they get we should never say no to liver transplantation for children suffering from liver diseases in addition i would also like to highlight 
that there are many children who sadly end up with acute liver failure. The livers were doing well, but due to viral hepatitis or drugs, etc., you might get an acute liver failure, and within days, one would need a liver transplant to save them. Even in those cases, the outcome is phenomenal. In fact, most good centers like ours, the results are 97 percent acute liver failures because we do predominantly living related liver transplants. So true, Neelam. Every child with liver failure definitely deserves a chance with liver transplantation. In fact, you remember so many patients, uh, parents ask us, how long will my child live? And we've already provided the answer. We have children who are living 10, 15, even 20 years after transplantation, and we expect them to live their normal lives grow up into adults, have their own children, pursue normal vocation. So pediatric liver transplantation in that sense, I completely agree, is very gratifying. So dear friends, you've seen that with the expertise that we've achieved, both medically, surgically, and the infrastructure that we have, and the innovations and medicines that have come in post-transplant care, we have achieved a lot in this field and the outcomes in children are phenomenal. That's it from our side today. We hope you enjoyed this journey of the liver show as much as we did. Please continue to take good care of yourself and your loved ones. We look forward to see you again soon.